Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. 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 Bismillah ar
keeping the law 100% is not what's going to save us. And we understand that. But just because we have grace and faith, we don't use it as a, a, a cloak of maliciousness either. Because the apostle Paul says, do we make void the law through faith? The Lord forbid. We establish the law. All right. So the point was, is that these other camps don't want to teach the bitterness of the scriptures because they don't want to suffer the persecution of the truth. You know, they see how, you know, people come at us for teaching what is in the Bible. They see how they, they, they pretty much demonize us, bear false witness on us, you know, call us all kind of names, tell us that we're the worst camp. In Israel, period, you know, this, that, and the third, and the other, uh, you know. But the reason why it's happening is because we're teaching what is written. And they have a problem with it. That's why, as that um, point where we were reading in Galatians, the sixth chapter, they wanted the, the Israelite foreigners to be circumcised, not, you know, because they compelled them or, or they um, they um, convinced them to do it, you know, because they really had their best interests at hand or at heart. No, they were doing it because they didn't want to suffer persecution for having a role with Israelite foreigners that were uncircumcised. Because back then that was a no-no. This is uh, Amos chapter 5 verse 10. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate, and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. So whenever you speak uprightly, we're going to suffer persecution. Yahweh Shai said that if they hear me, they're going to hear you. If they they reject you, they're going to, if they rejected me, they're going to reject you. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. This is the book of St. John 15 and 18. If the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. And what is the hate part? The hate part is about the doctrine. Remember, Yahweh Shai said, the world cannot hate you, but me it hateth because I speak of the world that the deeds thereof are evil. And that's why they hate us. Because we're telling them the truth. You know? And when you come into the truth, you're supposed to have a different mindset. You're supposed to, your mind is supposed to change. But a lot of these individuals, they just learn the truth and stack it on top of the bullshit that they already had before. So they never really become born again. All they do is just take the old man and stack on the new uh, knowledge. And you know the scriptures say that you can't put new wine in old bottles. At least the bottle rent. Because the new wine is too powerful to put into old bottles. You have to put the new wine into new bottles. So you have to be renewed in the spirit of your mind in order to be born again. In order to be able to receive the message and not be offended. Yahweh I said, blessed are they that are not offended in me. And it says, many shall be offended. So it says, if you were of the world, the world would hear his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. Okay, so that's the point. So what I want to do is, I want to read that again, and um, I want to read that again in Galatians. I want to hit one more precept and close the lesson. So the reason why they want these other camps out there outside of Great Millstone, for the most part, that don't teach what we teach, the reason why they won't teach the bitterness of the scriptures is because they don't want to suffer persecution. So now I'm going to read. Galatians 6 and 12 in the King James again. Then I'm going to read it in the NLT. Read one more precept in that and we'll close the lesson. Galatians 6 and 12. It says, As many as desire to make a fair show in the flesh, they constrain you to be circumcised. In other words, they force you to be circumcised. You know? And what happened, the Apostle Paul said, Who had bewitched you? And that's what they did. You know, they, they, they uh, were so adamant about it that the Israelite foreigners, they got nervous. They said, Well, wait a minute. Well, maybe, you know? We, maybe we do have to be circumcised. You know, maybe we have to keep the law 100%. And forgetting that the reason why they were brought into this was through faith. Right? It says, only, and the only reason why they made that, uh, made you do that, only least they should suffer persecution for the cross of Yahweh Shai. And when we read that in the NLT, it says, those who are trying to force you to be circumcised want to look good to others. 
They don't want you to, uh, they don't want to be persecuted for teaching that the cross of Yahweh Shai alone can save. And that's why a lot of these different camps out here, outside of Great Millstone, uh, and if and not counting the ones that teach what we teach that don't call themselves Great Millstone, even though they are Great Millstone, you know, but that's another story for another time. You know, the reason why they won't teach the business of the scriptures is because they don't, they don't want to suffer persecution. Satan trying to stop the word from going up. That's all right. They don't want to suffer persecution. Now, I'm going to read this one last precept and close out the lesson. Uh, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 8. Go and now go, write it before them in a table, and note it in a book, that it may be for the time to come forever and ever, that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. And that's why the scriptures say that they hate him that rebuketh in the gate. Because whenever you're bringing out a message to the world that is contrary to the mindset that they've been taught, they have a problem with it. That's why he said they won't come to the light. Scriptures say that the whole world lieth in wickedness. So there's a confliction there between the message that we're teaching of Yahweh Bashem Shai and the message that they were taught. So for the most part, most Israelites, even the ones that wake up to the truth, want the truth to conform to their lifestyle. They don't want to conform to the Lord, Yahweh Bashem El Shai. They want the Lord to fit around their schedule. And it doesn't work that way. You know, this is there's a reason why it says that you have to put off the old man. You have to be born again. You know, you have to, uh, the washing of regeneration by the spirit. So there has to be a cleansing mentally before you can actually fill that cup back up with the goodness that leads to salvation. Because oil and water don't mix. The teachings of the Lord and the philosophies of the world and the thinking of the world and the emotions of the world do not mix with the truth. So it says, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right thing, things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. So that's what they want. They want the smooth things. So they will not teach the bitterness of the scriptures because they don't want to suffer persecution because at the end of the day, Jake doesn't want to hear the the, the uh, harshness and the truth and the uh, and the bitterness of the scriptures. They want to hear the smooth things. You know, they don't want to hear that. You no, know, that they have to change their lifestyle. They don't want to hear, you know, um, that that you know the truth of the scriptures. That's they don't want to hear it. They want to hear those smooth things. You see, and that's why these teachers. Instead of just going straight forward, like the scriptures say in Isaiah 58 and 1. Let's read that real quick. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins. So the scriptures say to cry aloud and spare not. You, we ain't supposed to spare their feelings. But a lot of these individuals do not want to suffer persecution for the truth's sake, for the name of Yahweh Bashim Shai. So what they do is instead of teaching the bitterness of the scriptures, teaching the whole 100% gospel, they'll only teach things that are appealing to Jake. They don't want to rock the boat because they don't want to look like the bad guy. They don't want to be the heavies, you know, in the truth. And that goes for the majority of them. That's why if you look at all these different camps outside of Great Millstone, you know, and, and like I said, uh, there's other camps that teach like we teach. But if you look at all of them, they're all PC Israelite camps, politically correct Israelite camps. They won't, they won't correct each other. They won't uh, rock the boat, so to speak. That's where you get these unity camps from, you know, because at the end of the day, nobody wants to ruffle feathers. Boy, the Lord is all about ruffling feathers. Hebrews, the fourth chapter, the 12th verse tells you that. The Lord is all about ruffling feathers. He's all about, you know, um, getting down to the root of the matter. Because when you get down to the root of the matter, that's where the healing process begins. If you're just um, treating a symptom, the underlying condition is not going to go away. So you have to get down to the root, bottom cause of it, cut that out, and then eventually the healing process begins and then con continues until it's fully healed. 
and that's what's happening among these all these different camps is that they're not getting down to the root of the uh, of the of the heart of the matter that's why they won't teach the bitterness of the scriptures and some of them can't see it because they don't want to see it you know and, and and basically because they're blinded you know but they don't want to teach the bitterness of the truth because they don't want to suffer persecution for the words of Yahweh Shai.